Alright everyone, it's Pete Jose for YouTube Bank and Gen. This is 366 days of cards and I'm doing a lot of videos today, but that's because I didn't do like any videos on Friday or yesterday. So I need to make that up. <laughs> and I'm not even sure if I did one Thursday. But anyways, this is the verb deck. I'm gonna review both of them because I did this one before but the video quality wasn't that good. But anyways, the front of the box, as you can see, has the verb double V logo on this seal type thing and it's got a strike going through it in either blue or red there's nothing on either side the top it actually says birth right there it's embossed and the bottom is a little bit different from one deck to the other this one's just got the logo for busker and it's got some trademark information and this one actually has a House of Playing Cards logo, the Busker logo, and some other trademark information. And in the back, you see the back design of cards. And one thing you will see is there's a texture in the cards, uh, all these dots all over the place. And that texture is actually all over the box as well. You can see right there. It's kind of interesting. For some reason, I find that the original deck is a little bit lighter in color the box and the texture is a lot more noticeable kind of looks like leather i guess something like that because it is a luxury playing card company and you will see that the double v logo is actually embossed in the box and all the red and blue colors and this is all in foil on the flap you also get a double v logo right there on both of them and we open it up it says hopefully you can read that it says brio because it's the brio blue deck and the other one says elon for elon ruse open it up you do get an advertising card again it has a stripe going through it Busker Inc. logo and this trademark information and it has actually um, basically information on it. It says Burr of Luxury Playing Cards, Elon Ruse. Uh, it says who produced it, designed it, marketed it, manufactured it, and where you can visit them. <laughs> but I'm not going to read all that. In the back, you see the back design of cards, which is nice. Again, it's got that interesting dotted texture with the double V logo and you also get a blank card which is pretty cool the cards do have a standard pip and in dice as far as I can tell although it does also have metallic inks as you can see which is nice the code cards are borderless although fairly standard they look almost identical they look not almost identical but they look pretty much like a standard bicycle court card except that they are there's a lot less detail in it and it's borderless and it's just a, a lot more simplified and it's got some nice red and gold colors Ace of Hearts looks like that you can see it's got a dark saddle almost like a border on the bottom and it does have the same texture I don't know if you can tell my lighting for some reason is not very good, but there you go. It's got the same texture as the back of the cards and as the box. And there's another code card for you. Jokers look like this. It's got the same logo as the front of the box. It's sealed with a double D. And again, you got this interesting pattern in there. And you got the stripes going through. Here's your Ace of Clubs. It does have that same texture as on the box, but it's really hard to see. And actually, another thing I should mention. Is that the clubs and the spades are actually almost a brown color. Very dark. However, or maybe I'm just not seeing it correctly. 
but it does look like to me that it is maybe it's just a metallic ink but it is not as dark or black as usual here's your ace of diamonds just like the ace of hearts man I don't know what's with this video but anyways go through there's your other choker and your ace of spades the ace of spades says burrow on top in red and uh, luxury playing cards at the bottom you can't really tell for some reason I don't know what's wrong with this light hang on Maybe you can tell better now. Maybe we'll throw open the blinds a little. Apparently not. <laughs> but. Uh, what you do get is. You do get the double D logo here in the center of the spade paper, as you can see. And it does have the same texture as the other aces and whatnot. Alright, anyways. The cards do have, I believe, a magic finish. And a bicycle stuff. But I'm not entirely sure at the moment. Every way they handle, great, they look nice. And they are luxury playing cards. Especially since they cost like 10 bucks each. You know? One thing that's kind of cool is, and um, you may or may not see, but the Joker is because of that red stripe going through them. They do kind of stand out. So that could be useful for tricks. Now I want to get it. Alright everyone, now I'm back to look at the Brio Blue Deck. Sorry, the difference is in that. I apologize, my disc ran out of uh, space. So I had to stop. But anyways, you do get the ad card, just like the other one. Except it says House of Paint Cards on it, on the bottom. And in blue, the blue stripe. Oh, almost looks like a credit card. <laughs> And in your back design, same as the other one, except it's in blue. Really nice. It's a different kind of blue than what we used to. You also get a blank card. And this one, eh, again, the pips, almost a brown color, and they do have metallic ink on them. So they're not as dark as usual. Court cards, really nice, with the gold and blue. To match the back of the decks. That's one of the main differences. The other ones have a red and gold. This one's got blue and gold, as you can see. It tokers, same as the other deck except with blue. And again, I just like the court cards. <laughs> and then, one thing I find is these aces. These ones in particular on this deck, it's harder to see the details on them. You can see a little bit of shading here on the bottom, but you can't really see the dots on them. Same with that one. It's harder to see for some reason with this deck. Just like the details on the box are harder to see. Same with the aces. And finally, the aces fades. Same thing. Verve on top, luxury playing cards on the bottom, except it's in blue, and again you get the same logo in the side spade pip with the double V, which you can sort of see, and that rhymes. But anyways, these are really nice cards. I do like these decks. They handle great, they look great, and I recommend picking them up if you haven't done so already. Although they might be a little bit harder to find at this point in time. But anyways, that's my review on the verb decks, and I'll see you next time.